Hey everyone, John here, and welcome back to the Toy Box. Are you guys ready for more third generation Sitting Cuties plushes? I am. And today I'm going to show you the Pokemon Center Torkoal Sitting Cuties plush. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, while I did raise a Torkoal in Pokemon Sapphire, most of my memories of it are actually while fighting the Lava Ridge Gym Leader, Flannery. Her Torkoal was quite a challenge. If you remember, I started out with Trico, so Grovile at that time could not really do anything. I had a water type in Lombre, but Lombre is also grass, so I was out of luck there too. Uh, that overheat move was just too much. What ended up saving me at the end was my newly evolved Gardevoir being able to tank the overheats after using Calm Mind, as well as the Held Berries, and that helped a lot. That solidified Gardevoir spot on my team, and it made me respect Torkoal a lot. So this plush is an example of why I like the Sitting Cuties line so much. It is small, which is good for displaying a lot of plushes. Now, Torkoal is a Pokemon that has a lot of small details, and Sitting Cuties plushes usually have those details done really well. And lastly, the proportions on the plush look pretty good, so it checks all the boxes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the plush. Let's start with the head. So we have some of the details we can see already. We have this circle on top of Torkoal's head, which is sewn in. Torkoal's eyes. Torkoal doesn't have eyes that really open all the time, so this is done pretty well too. I like the nose. Um, I like Torkoal's smile. You can see the smile. Let me go up close right here. You can see the smile right here um, done with this... Uh, with this threads being sewn in. Now Torkoal's neck has um, a gray stripe embroidered into it, which is done really well. Now let's take a look at the shell. This is where most of the details are. So we look at it from up above, we have an embroidered black spot here. This is where all the, the white smoke would come out. We have these hexagons, um, the red hexagons here that would light up. Uh, of, co of course they don't light up on the plush. But in the show, they would. And these are embroidered also. We have all these lines sewn in for the pattern on the shell, which is pretty nice. Look at the edging of the shell. Um, the edging is pretty thick. I like the way that it's done here. And it has the, the zigzag shape here. So it really does, so even though the plush is soft, it does feel like a shell, which is pretty cool. And let's take a look at the belly. We have the, the the shell, the bottom piece of the shell. Now this piece um, is sewn. It's sewn in the middle here, um, just so you can see. But the it's not sewn completely, so you can. It is adjustable, and that is a pretty nice touch on this plush. Um, Torquil has a really small tail. Um, you can see in the back right here. Now let's take a look at the legs. This is another place where there are a lot of good details. Um, the legs are. Stuff they're stuff uh they're stuffed pretty hard, so the legs aren't really as soft as the rest of the plush. Torkoal is actually a little harder than the rest of the, the sitting cuties plushes. But that's fine, that's what you would expect out of a turtle anyway, so it looks good. Um let's look at the leg. There is uh the stripe here embroidered just like the one for the neck. So you can take a look at it all around. Now Torkoal has some claws right here, which are all sewn in. On the bottom there is a footprint. A pad right here, which is embroidered. Now, the number of embroidered uh, details on this plush is amazing. Uh, I really like that they they took every detail from Torkoal. Um, here are the back legs. Now, the back legs are like this. I would have normally expected the back legs to kind of stand up like this, kind of like the way the front legs do. But I guess because they're trying to make it look like Torkoal is sitting, kind of like the way a dog or a cat would, uh, they put the legs like this. I don't know if I like that as much, because it, to me it looks kind of awkward. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. But you can see the legs have the same details. It has the stripe right here, and it has the claws. Then there's a print. We can take a look at the other side so you can look at those legs too. Lastly, we have the, the toe tags. So there's the front. Turn it around, you can see Torkoal, Sitting Cuties Plush. And of course, we have the other set of tags here on the side for Pokemon Center. And there's three in here. 
And that is it. So torque hole sits down pretty easy. The the pellets are located in the belly right here towards the back. So, And it's not like torque hole is going to be rolling around or being unbalanced anyway. So uh, the beans, I guess, weren't really necessary, but they're part of the sitting cuties line. It's just the way that they're done. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave torque hole alone now. That way I don't get overheated. Well, this has been the Pokemon Center Torque Hole Sitting Cuties Plush. What do you guys think of Torque Hole? And what Torque Hole stories do you have for us? Let me know in the comments section below. If you are interested in adding Torque Hole to your collection, I will put a link to Pokemon Center below. At the time of filming, it is going for $10.99. Well, that is all we have for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, rate, subscribe, and don't stop playing.